Hello everybody and welcome back again to Mass Effect 3. We are still on Mars, we are still trying to catch up with Cerberus and uh, they are putting up quite a bit of resistance. So yeah, let's just uh, move on without further uh, waiting. And apparently there's something going on behind this door. Oh. Okay. What am I looking at here? Is this a Prothean stuff? <laughs> I just call it stuff because it looks nondescript. Oh. I know you. Shepherd. Elusive man. Fascinating race, the Protheans. They left all this for us to discover, but we squandered it. The Alliance has known about the Archives for more than 30 years. And what have they done with it? What do you want? <laughs> what I've always wanted. The data in these artifacts holds the key to solving the Reaper threat. I've seen your solution. Your people are turned into monsters. Hardly. They're being <laughs> improved. Okay. Improved? That's what separates us, Shepard. Where you see a means to destroy, I see a way to control, to dominate and harness the Reaper's power. Imagine how strong humanity would be if we controlled them. What? You're wasting time. Yes, the Reapers are attacking. I don't think we should have this argument now. Earth is under siege and you're hatching a scheme to control the Reapers? You've always been short-sighted. Hasty. Your destruction of the Collector base proves that. I destroyed that base because I didn't trust you with the mm -hmm. information. This isn't your fight any longer, Shepard. You can't defeat the Reapers. Even with the Prothean data. But you can? Uh, yeah, you, you shouldn't count me out just yet, Mr. Man. You brought me back because you knew what I could do. I can defeat them. Doubtful. The odds aren't in your favor. More importantly, I don't want the mm -hmm. Reapers destroyed. We can dominate them, <laughs> use their power, harness their very essence, to bring humanity to the apex of evolution. I think you're deluded, yes, quite, quite much so. You've gone too far. The Reapers will kill us all if we don't stop fighting each other. I don't expect you to understand, Shepard, and I'm certainly not looking mm. for your approval. You were a tool, an agent with a singular purpose, and despite our differences, <laughs> you were relatively successful. But like the rest of the relics in this place, your time is over. Enough talk. Liara? Don't interfere with my plan, Shepard. I won't warn you again. Duly noted. <laughs> Shepard! What? The data, it's not here. What? It's being erased. Why? Goodbye, Shepard. Damn it! How's he doing it? It's local. Someone's uploading the information. Hey! Step away from the console! Hm. Now! Oh, Ugh. hell! Well, who is this? She's got the data! Okay, um, then we She's need to faster get than her. She looks. Okay, Stay uh, close. We can't lose her. Uh, can I... Can I shoot her? Well, I can't shoot while running, so maybe I should just run. What the hell? Uh, open this thing. Wow! Wow, what... What did just happen? Where did she go? What the hell is going on? <laughs> oh, there, there she, she is. is. All right. Uh, Stay on her. She's getting away. Uh, not not on my watch. I'm I'm onto her. Watch out! 
I don't think he's actually doing any damage on me, so maybe I'm just going to run after her as fast as I can. I, I almost, I almost got her. Down there. James, Ooh, you read me? Um, what the hell? Where, where, where is she? Oh, she's over Service here. Has the data. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Radio the Normandy. Get them down here now. Um. Oh, and now she's. Come on, this, this is ridiculous. Just, just let me catch you. Wait, wait. What? I need to, I need to climb up the ladder. Okay. <laughs> Because I'm not supposed to catch her. She's getting away! Yeah. Probably. Damn it! James! Yeah. Normandy! Anybody! I got this one! <laughs> what? Um Well, that's one way to do it. Maybe next time try something that doesn't almost kill us. <laughs> oh god. Normandy's en route. They'll be here soon. We need the data. Hmm. What? What the hell? She's not human, I think. Oh, um. Hayden! Let him go. Orders. Dispose of him. Oh no, you don't. No! You. Oh, you bitch, you're going to pay for that. <laughs> what the hell? What was that? Why was I using my handgun anyway? Oh no, oh no. Grab that thing. Bring it with us. Shepard, we got Reaper signatures in orbit. This didn't go well at all. <laughs> I still love how casually she can just lift him up. So did, did we actually get the data now, or was all that of that in vain? Oh, apparently I just got an achievement for something. <laughs> achievement for a mission that read completely wrong, apparently. Ugh. Caden needs medical attention. <laughs> we have to leave the soul system. I know. The Citadel is our best chance. We can find help there. Get us to the Citadel, Joker. Roger that. Hold on, Caden. <sighs> See what you and Edie can learn from that thing. Commander, I'm receiving a signal over the secondary QEC. I believe it's Admiral Hackett. Patch me through. Okay. I'll forward it to the call room. Shepard, are you reading me? Commander. Edie, can you clear this up? I'll do my best. Did you get to the archives? I was there. So was the elusive man. I was worried Cerberus might try something. Did you get the data? Most of it. Oh, he downloaded okay. I, some I before I could stop him. Edie and Liara are analyzing what we recovered. What have you learned? Was it worth the effort? Preliminary evidence suggests the data is a blueprint for a Prothean device. Device? A weapon, massive in size and scope, that's capable of unquantifiable hmm. levels of destruction. Send me the data. 
We'll do our own analysis. If Liara's instincts are right, this might be the key to stopping the Reapers. I hope so. Caden's been hurt. We're taking him to the Citadel. Sorry to hear that, Shepard. But we both know this is just the beginning. Talk to the Council, show them what you found. With luck, they'll give you all the support we need. And if they don't? Do whatever it takes to get them on board. Barney. I'll be in touch soon. Hack it out. Barney, this holographic communication thing is catching on. I don't remember seeing it before, except for the elusive man. Commander. Edie is extracting data from the Cerberus machine. We'll have details to present to the Council by the time we reach the Citadel. And Caden? I've done what I can for him, but we need to get him to a medical facility soon. The Admiral's right. It's going to get worse, isn't it? Unless we stop the Reapers, yeah. I've looked at the data. This weapon could be the answer, if we can build it. I get the sense you don't quite believe it, though. <laughs> well, both of us... It's both of this is kind of true. It's hard to believe that we suddenly find this weapon just at the time when the Reapers are inv invading. But I do hope, I do hope it is a weapon because I do hate running. I'm a soldier. I should be back on Earth fighting, not wasting my time with this. If it's going to work, we need you. <laughs> Commander? Isn't it worth trying at least? <laughs> I'm gonna yeah, check guess. on Caden. I guess it's worth trying. Make sure we're ready to present our findings to the Council. I'm sure the Council will see the need to help. It'll be a hell of a short war if they don't. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> but I me, mean, come on, they can't they can't deny the Reaper threat now, can they? I mean even they can't be this blind. Ah, oh, the Citadel. Looking amazing as ever. I love it. Barely got a pulse here. Move him out. Where are you taking him? Where to Memorial. Best care in the Citadel. We're not going with? We need to see the Council. Right. <laughs> Looks like they might be coming to see you. Commander Shepard. Got word you were arriving. Oh. Captain Bailey. Good to see you again. Yeah, you too. Though it's Commander <laughs> now. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, thanks. Now half my job is dealing with political bullshit and escorting dignitaries around. No offense. None taken. So you're here to bring us to the Council? I'm here to tell you the Council is expecting you, but they are dealing with their own problems As with usual. the war and everything. Uh, they apologize for the inconvenience and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Meet them here at Adina's office. They'll be ready soon enough. All right. You might have time to go by the medical center if you want to check on progress over there. <laughs> that, that's a good idea. I may, I may want to do that. Thanks. I might do that. You go on ahead. I'll head up to Adina's office. One of my men can show you the way. You? I'm just a tourist today. I'll try not to get in any <laughs> trouble. Commander, we've got a situation in the embassy quarters. We could use your help. <laughs> I'll be right there. The other half of my job. <laughs> I'll see you around, Shepard. Well, good luck. No doubt. <laughs> 
Okay, okay, well, look at that. I'm on the Citadel, and I'm in control of my body, <laughs> apparently. And there's my ship. Oh, look, look at this. Isn't this a beautiful scenery? I love it. And, and I'm, I'm, actually, I'm actually wearing an Alliance uniform. Oh, this feels so good. Baby, baby, I'm home again. I'm home again. I'm wearing the proper uniform again. This is beautiful. Okay, so, um, well... I'm I'm suddenly okay. dropped off. First deployment yeah, somewhere and near Palavan. Reports say not to depend on comms. I'll leave vid messages then, and you can do the same. Well, they said that due to concerns about signal congestion, we're supposed to avoid sending messages at all. They're trying to keep war data coming through, so every data packet counts. So how am I supposed to talk with you then? Um, that that keeper is creepy. And I've never actually seen them moving around like that. Wow. Anyway, do I have... I have a map. Okay, so, so what am I looking at here? Normandy Airlock Passenger Lounge Diana Alice Viewing Deck Security Checkpoint. Oh, and I have several layers. Citadel Embassies, Consul Odina's Office, Huerta Memorial Hospital, Patient Lounge, Dr. Chakwas! And Kate is in the... I, I just read it impatient wing, but it's impatient wing. <laughs> that, that makes more sense. Okay, um, yeah, I, I, I guess I will uh, give him a visit. And I think Odina can wait a while longer. Um, but yeah, let's, let's have a look at, at this place first before we go anywhere else. Um, well, we have, we have an Arvina over here. Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to the Citadel. This is Docking Bay D-24. Note that due to recent events, official identification and weapons permits may be requested by CSAC personnel for routine verification. <laughs> um, alright. Uh, tell me about these routine verifications. What's with the heightened security? New screening fields have been added in order to speed up processing of the security stations in each docking area. Citadel security screening technology uses highly advanced biometric authentication systems developed by the CERTA Foundation. Please note that any attempt to circumvent Citadel security measures will result in immediate incarceration. Noted. Um, tell me about local features. What else is in the area? You are standing in docking area D-24. According to your biometrics file, you are cleared to access further information about this bay. This is the airlock currently assigned to the Systems Alliance ship Normandy. Mm. If you look out the bay window, you can see one of the many magnificent <laughs> vistas for which the Citadel is renowned. Yes, it is, it is quite magnif magnificent. Um, tell me about the waiting area here. What about that room over there? The waiting area is for those who wish to speak to our new arrivals. It is located next to security processing. Hmm. And tell me about other Citadel areas. Any other important areas I should know about? Docking Bay E-24 has been repurposed into temporary housing to accommodate the recent influx of civilians to the Citadel. If you wish to contact hmm. your species' official Citadel representative, please go to Citadel Embassies. For medical needs, the Presidium offers leading-edge care at the Huerta Memorial Hospital. The Presidium Commons have been a cultural mainstay since the Council was first established at the Citadel. All right, all right. Thank you, Avina. Also, I think whatever bug people mentioned in the comments about importing custom faces, um, I don't think I don't think I have that bug because I think she looks she looks fine. She looks pretty gorgeous, actually. I like I like how she looks in this game. All right. Um, well, thank you. Goodbye. That's all. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. Okay. So, um, I can I can visit other areas of of the citadel, but let me let me look around this place first. When we're deploying or where and why. But you're on the Normandy, right? I saw it dock. It was last seen on Earth. Hmm? Did Commander Shepard escape? She did, didn't she? So why would she be here unless she's seeing the council? Ma'am, I can't talk about that. You don't have to. Commander Shepard! Um, yes, I'm standing right here. What's going on here? 
Commander, just who I was looking for. Diana Allers, Alliance News Network. I think we can help each other. I suppose you want an interview? <laughs> Even better. I'm a military reporter with a show called Battle Space. We're carried on just about all Council planets. My producers want me embedded on a human ship, and I want that ship to be the Normandy. Why would I want that? <laughs> Wars can be won or lost in the editing room, and this war needs to be won. I've got Alliance security clearance and operate without a crew. You get veto power over the segments I file. Can you handle an arrangement like that? Or do I keep looking? Well, um, I, I, I think it's funny how, how defensive a Shepard is <laughs> with a journalist, apparently. Um, let's do a trial run. No way. Well, sure. I mean, we have, like, freedom of the press, right? So why not bring her along? Tell your producers yes for now. We'll see how it works out. Report to the ship as soon as possible. Any questions? How much gear can I bring? One footlocker. <laughs> aye, aye, Commander. All right. Um, apparently I just got an embedded journalist on my ship. Oh, well. What is it a quiet Diana Alice? The council <laughs> called the invaders Reapers. The same term once used by a disgraced Commander Shepard to refer what? to a theoretical enemy. <laughs> what do you mean disgraced? What do you mean theoretical? The military has abandoned the Hades Gamma Cluster <laughs> to incoming Reaper forces. Yeah, so much for theoretical. Recent intel suggests that the entire Batarian hegemony has been destroyed by an unknown <laughs> force. Well... <laughs> I would say no huge loss there, but it's still kind of bad. Incursions by enemy forces are being reported in Turian colonies. Fighting is said to have reached Paladin. Okay, so they're not just targeting Earth. I I was actually wondering about that. Although the Asari colony is across the galaxy from Paladin and Earth, the invading force appears to be the same that attacked those planets. If if they are back to their old motive of basically targeting all organic life and not just humans like they did in 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 the last game, but apparently they are uh, targeting Batarians and Turians and Asari. Okay, okay. Um. Well, thank you for that update. Um. So what's this over here? Visit the council before leaving. Oh, uh, I see. This is probably where I can go back to the Normandy. I, I, I get it. Um, this is not actually a door. I spoke to Avina. There doesn't seem to be anything else in this area that I can do. So, can I just walk through here? Yes, I can. Alright. Let's use the elevator. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Um, Please select the destination. Yeah, I think I think uh, the council can wait. Please. Let's go to the hospital first. Now so. arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. Well, here we are. The the supplies. Welcome to Serta. And I just got another achievement for some reason. All profits from sales manager go to capacity. Help new research. Well, I have I have a decent amount of credit, so I can just get this. Serta is a non-profit organization dedicated to the medical needs of all sapient life. What is this? Peruvian whiskey, tasty yet medicinal, the perfect gift. Thank you for coming to Serta. Smooth and smoky you? with a hint of heat. Each sip of TM88 has a story to tell, and each glass has a story Thank to inspire. TM88 is one of is one of Earth's top-selling beverages export for nothing. Known for having both a calming Serta influence a and the ability to stimulate blood flow, TM88 is the only life. alcoholic drink endorsed by the medical board of Sir Cash. The price for TM88 includes deposit, please recycle. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'll, I'll get it. Um, Be safe. And that's, that's all. Uh, Shopaholic. Visit the store. Apparently this is the achievement that I just got, right? 
Um, let's talk to Avina Hello, again. Hello, Shepard. Welcome to Huerta Memorial Hospital. The human specialist medical officer in charge is Dr. Michel. Also, please note that specialists for all known Citadel species are on call. Please ensure that you observe proper decontamination protocols at all times while in this area. Noted. Um, so this hospital is for all the species? You can really cover treatment for any kind of species here. Huerta Memorial surpasses all requirements needed for any multi-species medical facility. <laughs> This facility's attendant levels can also replicate the living conditions needed to accommodate other, more exotic species. Aquatic environments, for example, are available on short notice. That's impressive. Now tell me about the hospital staff. What about the medical staff? How do they deal with so many species? All personnel are required to undergo mandatory and regular psychological evaluations, <laughs> as well as refresher courses. Hospital administration understands how difficult it can be for staff to deal with such a wide variety of patients. It is imperative they be offered the support needed to retain their current high standards. Um, okay, uh, tell me about local features. What else is in the area? The Huerta Memorial Hospital has experts from every major race and residency, with many specializing in Xeno medicine. The facility works with prestigious medical universities from around the galaxy offering internships to residents and nurses. With access to cutting-edge technology and support from major pharmaceutical companies, the hospital ensures the best care to its patients. <laughs> okay. And tell me about the hospital name. Where'd the hospital get its name? It is named after President Christopher Huerta of Earth's United North American States. The donor who requested the tribute expressed the desire to remain anonymous. All right. Um, I'm going to assume that other citadel areas just cover the same that the other Avina told me. So, um, I guess we're done here. Thank you. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. <laughs> All right. Um. Okay. So. Oh. 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 Doctor Chakwas. Doctor Chakwas. Doctor Chakwas. There you are. Doctor Chakwas. You're here. I'm working at an Alliance R&D lab down in Shelter Wards, coordinating closely with Admiral Hackett. I heard you escaped Earth in the Normandy, and that someone was critically injured. I came as fast as I could. We had a run-in with a Cerberus synthetic on Mars. Caden took the worst of it. How is he doing? Very well, all things considered. I'm impressed with Major Elenko's resilience, as well as Dr. Michelle's expertise. I wish I could have been there to help on Mars. Now that I think about it, I think we actually met Dr. Michelle as well in the first game, right? There, there was a doctor that we helped um, with one issue of hers. Uh, I think it was Dr. Michelle. So, what have you been up to? It's been six months, Doctor. How have you been? Oh. Good. I've been fortunate. When they impounded Normandy, the Alliance didn't really know what to do with me. I was never officially part of Cerberus. And I'd gotten a proper leave of absence from my previous post. So you hadn't technically done anything wrong by joining me to defeat the Collectors? Yes. Though I suppose if you were judged to be a war criminal, I would have been tried as an accessory. I, I find it kind of curious that apparently you can officially join Cerberus. I mean, do you have to pay a member's fee and, and, and get a Cerberus ID or whatever? I mean, what exactly does constitute joining Cerberus? I mean, if you work on one of their ships and take orders from, from uh, you know, by proxy the elusive man, this doesn't, doesn't mean that you're working for Cerberus. It's kind of strange uh, reasoning. <laughs> um, yeah, I think, I think you should come back to the Normandy, though. Seriously. Your place is in Normandy's med bay, not some lab. I couldn't agree more. You say the word and I'm with you. <laughs> well, of course. Welcome aboard. The Normandy wouldn't be the same without you, Doctor. Get your things. Docking bay D-24. Yes, Commander. And thank you. <laughs> Don't thank me so soon. Remember, the <laughs> Joker's still aboard. And I'd be surprised if he's been remembering his medication. All right, all right. Um, and yes, I've actually been wondering how, how long uh, has passed since uh, 
the events of Mass Effect 2. Apparently it's six months. So it took the Reaper six months to to get here. Um but yeah, let's talk to Dr. Michelle as well. Commander Shepard, good to see you. Dr. Michelle, it's been a long time. You've come a long way from that small clinic down in the wards. Mm, because yes, of you, her. I don't know where I'd be if you hadn't dealt with Fist and his thugs. Now I met physician in the Presidium Clinic. You gave me this chance. I assume you're here about Major Alenko. So it is. It is her. I I remembered correctly. <laughs> no, I'm totally not here f here for him. So yeah, is is he okay? <laughs> How is Caden doing? The head trauma was severe, but we reduced the swelling quickly. These types of injury can go either way. He hasn't regained consciousness yet, but his vitals are strong, so I'm optimistic. You can go see him if you like. He's just down the hall. All right. Um, that's better than nothing. Um, yeah. Tell me about the refugees. This war may leave a lot of injured people homeless. Can the Citadel clinics care for them all? We're fine now, but I'm worried. Every hospital on the Citadel is preparing for the worst. I hear the docks are tightly controlled, but we just can't leave people floating out there forever. Hmm. I mean, considering that there's a full-scale Reaper invasion going on, this place seems to be uh, disturbingly normal and calm. I mean, the whole Citadel. Nobody seems to be, you know, in panic or... It, it it seems like you know just just another day on on the citadel. So do you need any supplies? How are your medical supplies holding up? We're well stocked now, but I can't say I'm not worried about the future. We've posted guards on our reserves. War profiteering has already begun. <laughs> okay, and tell me about the clinic staff. With a center of this size, you must have a lot of direct reports. We've got twelve full-time doctors and over fifty support staff. It can be overwhelming, quite different from my days in the wards. All right, well, uh, nice catching up with you, Dr. Michel. Keep up the good work, Doctor. You too, Commander. <laughs> all right, all right, so we meet a bunch of interesting uh, people. And, yeah, look at this. This, this is a citadel as, as we remember it. But I, I don't remember all those shuttles flying in the first game. I, I may remember correctly, uh, incorrectly though. But um, anyway, I think, I think I'm actually going to make a cut here and I suppose we're going to visit uh, Caden in the next episode in the not impatient but impatient wing. So yeah, uh, as usual, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed and see you again next time.